uh, I make a lot of mistakes on this channel, and uh, I did it again. so many mistakes over the last several years that I've learned a lot. And right when I thought I was getting um, ahead of myself, uh, I almost created a bomb, which I've heard is bad. There's a couple arguing We're right next to a bus stop, a big RTD parking lot, and there's a couple arguing outside. Maybe we go out front. Maybe that's a better angle. Hey, Dennis. Yeah. There's a couple having an argument by the RTD if you want to watch. That didn't amount to what I thought it would. I apologize. Now, a lot of our mistakes are usually a result of me not having money, and so I can't afford what I want, and so I uh, try to make it, and in doing so, I usually do it wrong. That's basically the summary of what happened here. Mm-hmm. welded a bung on that I cut off and capped the last video. It's because you guys left comments and those comments brought something to my attention that I overlooked completely. Now that we all know what the inside of an aluminum box looks like, let me explain to you what we're doing here. The whole point of putting the return on the bottom was so that the fuel didn't come in from the top and create a bunch of aeration, but there's still gonna be some aeration coming back from the return, and uh, we kind of have it pointed back there, which is where the pump is gonna suck from. So to avoid any bubbles that are in the return kind of going right back there, I'm gonna weld in a little baffle right here, maybe about halfway up just to kind of Maybe if there are air bubbles, it'll just go up and um, then we're good. Now, regarding the bomb, uh, I capped off this one and that one. And so that meant there was no way for pressure in here to escape. Bomb may have been a slight giant exaggeration, but nonetheless, we needed a breather. So we'll do this and then we have to do some extra stuff on the other end of what will be here. Remember like four minutes ago in this video, I was saying I make mistakes. Well, I did it again. Um, so what I should have done while the top was cut off is underneath this, I should have put like a baffle 
that would basically eliminate fuel from like free flying out of here when it shakes back and forth. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Instead, um, I improvised, which is arguably what I do best, and I took the fitting and I crimped it down. See that there? See? Air still flows through, but uh, tremendous amounts of fuel are not gonna really want to escape through that. So that solves that problem. Now you're probably wondering, where is this leading to? Spray paint might be one of the most underappreciated modern marvels that we have. And now, some three hours later, we have something that I probably could have bought on eBay for $15. Plus or minus, fuel system is now done. Return goes to there, we did that last video. We now no longer have a bomb, so that's exciting. Where did that cap go? Oh, duh. Put it there so I wouldn't lose it. Shoulda, coulda, woulda got rid of that. This is pointless, but. I was really hoping that by the time I got to the end of the video, I was gonna be able to tell you guys like, look, I made some mistakes, but I'm incredible, so I fixed them all. Well, then I started reading uh, forums, which is something I don't do often, because reading is really hard for me, and um, I saw a lot of things. I was really hoping to find someone saying like, basically, if you don't put a breather on here, it could create a bomb, and I could be like, heck yeah, I was right, and we fixed it. But instead, I found that I should have done this line differently someone suggested a double pigtail loop i don't know what that is but i see two loops and i would imagine if i had a pig that's about what his tail would look like and that's what we would call that is a double pigtail loop assuming i was trying to think of like a p-trap sewage analogy for this but i really think it's just if you have this sitting here uh it's going to be a lot harder for uh for vapors and actual fuel to make it down to this little canister that we've made which is basically, as I said earlier, a $15 eBay catch can that I spent way too long and probably more material than $15 on. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm pretty content with what we have and I would like to trial and error this. So we're gonna save this bit of line because I don't need it. And we're gonna save it because it's almost the perfect distance for the textbook double pigtail loop that uh, someone on a forum on the internet that has no credentials told someone else to do, but it makes sense to me. We may have avoided an explosion or 
I just did this properly and not doing so probably wouldn't have been as bad as I thought it might have been in the beginning of this video. So um, in conclusion, we still don't know if what I did is correct or not. Thanks for watching. <laughs>